Hello, my name is Vince Holton, and I'm the publisher and editor-in-chief of Incisor and the director of Pure Wireless Events. This video presentation is part of a very special project that we've completed with the Bluetooth Special Interest Group, or SIG, CSR and Motorola. I believe that this project will introduce Incisor to many new readers, and so for them, I'll explain how we came to be involved with these high-profile wireless industry trailblazers. Incisor is a monthly magazine dedicated to short-range wireless technology. That's Bluetooth, ultra-wideband, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, RFID, and NFC. We've distributed Incisor by email as an Adobe Acrobat file since we launched in December 1998, when Bluetooth was just emerging. Over the last eight years, Incisor has become a globally known and respected publication. Our audience is very broad and is made up of an estimated 25,000 readers at more than 1,500 companies all across the world. If we analyze our subscriber database, we can see that Incisor is read by people at companies within the wireless industry, such as handset manufacturers, semiconductor and software companies, and also by an extremely wide-ranging group of people from outside, including car companies, airplane manufacturers, government agencies, armed forces, banks and venture capitalists, academics, major corporates and end-user enterprises. The list we're scrolling now gives you a feel for the amazing quality of our readership. The scope of our editorial is broad too. When we launched, we looked purely at the Bluetooth industry, but now we include the other most important short-range technologies, ultra-wideband, which as we shall see is now partnering with Bluetooth, and Zigbee, Wi-Fi, RFID, and NFC. So Incisor's position in the market is absolutely clear. We're deeply involved in the job of distributing information about short-range wireless technologies, pure and undiluted. Although we are read by many people who work outside the wireless industry, we are not a consumer publication. So we don't claim to be read by hundreds of thousands or even millions of people. Put simply, we address those people all over the world that are seriously interested in wireless technology, the decision makers and technology influencers. There simply aren't millions of such people, the total number is in the thousands. And I'm absolutely certain that our subscriber base is made up of a very large percentage of them. So, if I'm allowed to be a salesman for one moment, it, it's hard to imagine a more accurately targeted value for money proposition than Incisor. If your company's target market is the wireless sector, and you want your messages to get to the right people. So what's this special issue of Incisor all about? Well, a truly exciting development is taking place right now. But to understand that, we need to backtrack for a moment. Few would dispute that Bluetooth is the de facto standard for short-range wireless connectivity. Over 10 million Bluetooth devices are shipped from semiconductor manufacturing plants every week which shows just how widespread its implementation is. Bluetooth is the master of what is known as the Wireless Personal Area Network, or WPAN. This is a fast-moving world, though, and mobile devices such as cell phones, personal audio and video players, and mobile computing devices are encouraging us to move ever larger amounts of data around. So Bluetooth needed a higher speed of data transfer if it was to retain control of the WPAN. With this in mind, in March this year, the Bluetooth SIG announced that it would join forces with the Y Media Alliance. This body has been promoting what has become the most widely adopted version of Ultra Wideband, a wireless connectivity solution that offers very high data rates and very low power consumption. A marriage between Bluetooth and the Y Media Alliance is a perfect fit, and so we're now working towards the launch of what is currently known as High Speed Bluetooth. But making this alliance of two technologies work is a major undertaking. As we can see here, the Bluetooth Special Interest Group and the Y Media Alliance have been working flat out to ensure that every element is considered and planned, from the technical perspective to worldwide regulatory approval, to ensuring that there is a foolproof test and qualification system to make sure that everything works the way it should. All of this work is with one main goal in mind, to ensure that when high-speed Bluetooth devices hit the streets and consumers start using their new gadgets, the user experience is a good one. This has been a fundamental requirement throughout the history of Bluetooth, and the powers that be will not countenance anything less than complete success. The world outside of the industry needs to know what's happening, and the Bluetooth SIG has launched a campaign to promote high-speed Bluetooth. 
Incisor was invited to be involved, and I was given the opportunity to chair a global summit event for analysts and VIP media in London during July. The goal was to outline the forward-looking roadmap for high-speed Bluetooth. It was hosted by the Bluetooth SIG and two guest companies, CSR and Motorola, both of whom are deeply embedded in the Bluetooth industry. CSR has owned a majority share of the Bluetooth semiconductor market for many years, while Motorola has brought to market an extremely broad portfolio of Bluetooth-enabled consumer devices that set standards for technical capability design and functionality. The London event provided a focus point for technology strategists from the three organisations to create and then deliver material that would explain how things will work out over the coming months, as Bluetooth and ultra-wideband join. The reality is that this vision had probably never before been presented to people outside of closed-door industry events. At times such as this, when major developments are taking place in the technology industry, it's often the case that inaccurate information is spread, sometimes deliberately so resulting in poor levels of understanding and blurred reality. So, when I suggested to the participants at the London event that we extend the reach of the summit by creating a special issue of Incisor that was completely dedicated to high-speed Bluetooth, the reaction was immediate and positive. And so that is what we are delivering here. We're presenting interviews with three senior executives, one each from the Bluetooth Special Interest Group, CSR and Motorola. There are few people in the industry with a better and more accurate understanding of the high-speed Bluetooth roadmap. We're pleased to have this opportunity to present what must truly be world premier category information to Incisor's readers. We back up the video interviews with editorial from each and provide links to other web resources and reference material. I regard this as a new chapter in the history of Incisor and I hope that you enjoy this special issue. More similar ventures will follow. I'd also be very pleased to get your feedback. Why not let me know how we can improve and expand our publishing activities? Send me an email at vholton at click.co.uk and who knows, your views may well appear on our monthly reader's letter page. Thank you very much.